Hey, TQ here from the Q Brothers. Um, today I'm here to talk about more about beards. I've been doing a bunch today, uh, but today I want to look at Windy City Beard Elixir. So, um, Dave, uh, our customer, makes Windy City Mustache Wax. It's killer. Uh, when I had a handlebar, it was my favorite. Um, and he recently came out. You may with, have a handlebar again soon. I think I'm going to. <laughs> when I trim this off, I may have to leave it just for as a little throwback. Um, so I'm going to soon, but uh, you know, it seems like he just makes products for me because he keeps coming in when I have this a particular thing with a new product. So he must have known. Thanks, Dave. He must have known I had a beard, and he came out with this beard elixir. Which uh, there's two varieties. There's the medieval spice, which is a warm spicy blend, and I've been using. I really like it, and that's what I'm going to try today. And then there's Steve's clove, which is the same mix, the same base, I think, with the addition of some some more clove uh, and sort of that pungent uh, spiciness. I'm not a huge fan of clove and, and sort of bay rum in general, like the clovey bay rums. So I'm probably going to stick with the medieval spice today. But if you are, I will put a little bit on my hand and just smell it so I can describe it. And for you, Jay. It's a nice, I mean, like, if you're into that, that's a nice. Um, it's very clovey. It's very clovey. And you will be the spicy guy at the party. That's yeah. I like to, yeah. Might like it's warming literally. It's I mean, very because warm, clove, yeah. clove has that property. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna. This is a good winter. That's a good winter beard oil. It also yeah. kind of smells like a Christmas cookie. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's definitely there. Are certain people who love that. Uh, I like the medieval spice. But here, if you want to try a little bit of this, and let's. Hmm. It's just very warm without being clove. Am I right? Yeah, it's some, it smells like skiing to me. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. I really like it. It's because it's orange. There's orange. There's kind of like that winter orange. It's like spicy with orange. And it has a little new car. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I like that one. I really like it. So, I've already washed my beard today and conditioned it just now, but basically I'm just going to comb through to put the oil all the way through my beard. That's a, that's a great scent actually. Yeah, it is. He killed it with that scent. I really like it. Um, it's also not like super overpowered, you know what I mean? Like you can still wear a fragrance with that beard oil on. Yeah, definitely. Well, most beard oils, because it's in the oil, I don't find that they tend to be overly, most of the ones I tried, I'm gonna try sartorial pretty soon, but I, but I don't. But I'm just saying that clove one would be like, you're going clove. Yeah, I think that one would be a little heavy. Anyway, here it is. What is, what is the base on this guy? You, you know, know, it's a good question. It's not listed yeah. there, I should have looked at it. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I do have it, we can list it below in the, in the ingredients. Is uh, it? It is still light. They're all light usually. Yeah, I find this one oils. I find this one to be in the medium range of beer okay. oils. It's a little thicker, which I kind of like. Um, shapes you a little better. Well, and it just seems to like, it doesn't feel dry by the end of the day, you know? And it's a nice shine to it. Everything about it is good. I mean, look at this beard, huh? <laughs> anyway, Sorry. plus Sh 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 Town represent, right? Yeah, no doubt, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, if you want a Windy City look, uh, go with Windy City Beard Elixir. Dave, I think you did a good job. Nice, man.